Hammer Gang. Cause we always hit the nail on the head. So check this out. My Florida State fans and my Florida Gator fans. Normally I don't do these kind of um commitments, you know, because it ain't the Miami Hurricanes. But you know, since it's the big three, I gotta start dropping big three content. You know, throw some of you Florida State guys up in there, throw some of you Gators in there. And I thought this would be a very good moment to do so. Jamari Howard. Yes, Jamari Howard. The number 91 ranked player in the nation. Um, top 100 guy. Um, cornerback out of New Orleans. New Orleans, Miami, of, of course. Um, committed to the Florida State Seminoles. Chose the Florida State Seminoles over the Florida Gators. Over the Florida Gators. Florida thought they was in this race for the longest. When in reality, they never was. From the beginning of the season. My guy said that LSU in the Florida State game kind of solidified it for him. So all this time, Florida State had this guy locked in. Uh, Florida thought they had him. They didn't. Uh, Billy Napier, man. Somebody go get that guy out of the locker room. Mike Norville just stuffed him in the locker room for a corner. The number seventh corner um, in the nation or in the, the state, the country, whatever. Um, basically chose Florida State over the Florida Gators. Now with some other names on that list, uh, Maryland and uh, Rutgers and um, that, that, none of them mattered. Florida State had them from the beginning. So Florida Gator fans, man, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Get down in the comment section, Florida Gator fans. Yes, I said Florida Gator fans. The handful of you guys that are still around because your season is over. Y'all are trash, but the garbage. Um, get in the comment section and tell me how you guys feeling about this um, cornerback Choosing Florida State now, 6'2", 175, that's his measurables. Um, chose Florida State over Florida. I just, just got to keep saying that. Chose to be a Seminole over a baby lizard. Yes, yes. Florida Gator fans, I know y'all got the number three class. In the, wait, um, actually, y'all comment down below because I haven't had the chance to upgrade um, the rankings or whatever to see if Florida State actually moved ahead of Florida or did the rankings stay the same or whatever let me know because um 247 sports is what i use when it comes to the rankings i don't go to O and three i don't go to rivals or espn i just use 247 sports because they got basically um the composite and everything set up just the way i like it and it's easy and accessible so damn did i just do a plug for 247 sports that should actually make my membership free <laughs> but <laughs> but anyways um yeah man um chose florida state now he said florida state the coaches have been keeping up with him. Randy Shannon, um, Greg Moss, um, Coach um, Mike Norville. They all been telling him that he could be the next Jalen Ramsey. Um, that's yet to be determined, you know, coming to the program, um, you know, get developed and all that good stuff. And he could be the next Jalen Ramsey. Um, y'all let me know in the comment section, is that possible? Do you, do you think this guy will get developed at Florida State or will um, – his position get filled up by, you know, the transfer portal because, you know, Mike Norville is a transfer portal king. So, anyways, man, like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Oh, Florida State fans, Florida Gator fans, I know sometimes I don't say the most flattering things about your team, but if you watch the videos, if you're triggered, but you're somewhat entertained just a little bit, hit the like button. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. That's it. That's it. Goodbye.